Hey, James T here. It's not too close, is it? Um, we're on the way to Expedition Bigfoot. All right, I've been looking forward to this. I, uh, I saw it on uh, some other vloggers, and I uh, thought it'd be a lot of fun. I personally have a Bigfoot story, and I'll tell you that later. But there's a lot of folks in the in the American South, in the Midwest, in the Northeast, or, or the Northwest, not the Northeast, uh, that have Bigfoot stories. I think they're pretty cool. Um, whether you believe in it or not, you know the adventure's there. You know it's kind of kind of fun to think about that. But we're heading up. It's about an hour and a half outside of Chattanooga. And I know this is the Chattanooga thing, but it's easy access and it's different something you're not going to find just anywhere all right so we're on our way and uh, be there in just a little bit okay yeah we're in mountain lion country Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, two large rooms of, of exhibits to your left, one large room of eight exhibits to your right, including a working lab because people send us hair samples. Oh, the, the, awesome. I know we get really excited yeah. when those come in. <laughs> the faces that you see on the Wall of Fame are researchers from all over the world. Um, if you watch the shows and documentaries mm -hmm. about Bigfoot or read books, mm -hmm. you're probably going to recognize some of those people. They're, they're up there because they made a significant contribution to Bigfoot research. In Kentucky and Georgia in 2015, it was 2079, 85, it was 15, it was a 2001, 95, 1980, there's a footprint cast in Georgia and North Carolina. I don't see it. Maybe we'll, we'll find a Tennessee. That picture looks familiar. Yeah. So, you don't necessarily believe that you don't think it's Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Kawakawa? Something like that? Five different names. Wow, woman. Now that's a big foot. No, I knew he had to be here somewhere. Uh, that's... <laughs> What's his name? Josh? Josh, yeah. Yeah, there's Josh. Baby Gates. Josh Gates. A Yeti footprint. Okay. There's a baby Bigfoot. Web foot put it Yeah. He was having a cramp. I like the baby Bigfoot one. That one's pretty good. On the pegboards, green denote first hand accounts, visual sightings. Yellow poke, uh, first hand sightings was not clearly seen. And the pink pegs was repeatedly seen several months. There was no in answer to why they returned again and again. It's North Atlanta. Wow, down by East Point, underneath Atlanta. A bunch up in Blue Ridge, where we are now, LJ. Then some over by Lafayette. Now this place is actually kind of busy. There's a lot of folks here. A lot of stuff to see. Now if you're if you're not a believer, there's a there's a lot to kind of take in. Yeah, the 
Bigfoot names, you got White Thing, Opie, Mountain Devil, the Honey Island Swamp Monster, I've heard of that one, the Fook Monster in Arkansas, Boojum, Wooly Booger, Devil Monkey, and the Skunk Ape of Florida, I've heard about that one. There's a, a buttocks imprint. That's a that's a big butt. Okay, this is purported Sasquatch here, recovered by an eyewitness after sighting in the Kohata State Forest, October 2015. Hmm. Leslie found him. Somebody tell Adam the Woo that we found Big the Foot's brother. There he is. I don't know. I might. I might need to buy one of these. Well, that's pine scent. Maybe use pine incense. I don't know. Bigfoot socks? They have Bigfoot on them. That's pretty awesome. It's supposed to be the hand of a Yeti from Nepal, but it had human DNA markers. It's huge.